In my dream, a woman then asked, how someone who's broken their covenants can get back on the path? My answer to her question leads to my second suggestion. Discover the joy of daily repentance. How important is repentance? Alma taught that we should preach nothing save it were repentance and faith on the Lord. Repentance is required of every accountable person who desires eternal glory. There are no exceptions. In Revelation to the prophet Joseph Smith, the Lord chastised early church leaders for not teaching the gospel to their children. Repenting is the key to progress. Pure faith keeps us moving forward on the covenant path. Please do not fear or delay repenting. Satan delights in your misery. Cut it short. Cast his influence out of your life. Start today to experience the joy of putting off the natural man. The Savior loves us always, but especially when we repent. He promised that through that though mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, my kindness shall not depart from thee. If you feel you have strayed off the covenant path too far or too long and have no way to return, that simply is not true. Please contact your bishop or branch president. He is the Lord's agent and will help you experience the joy and relief of repenting. Now, a caution. Returning to the covenant path does not mean that life will be easy. This path is rigorous and at times we will feel like a steep climb. This ascent, however, is designed to test and teach us, to refine our natures and help us to become saints. It is the only path that leads to exaltation. One prophet described the blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments of God, for behold, they are blessed in all things, both temporal and spiritual. And if they hold out faithful to the end, they are received into heaven and dwell with God in a state of never-ending happiness. Walking the covenant path coupled with daily repentance fuels positive spiritual momentum. 